This is Robert from Artech Canada and this video is a brief walkthrough of the brand new FOSCAM in VR and how to get it set up and running. When it's first turned on and you log in, the NVR will present you with a setup wizard. You just simply need to choose your language. In this case we have Chinese or English. Go ahead and press next. And it's very important to make sure you do set the correct time zone. By default, it may not be the correct time zone for your location. In this case, for us, we are in Eastern Standard Time. Choose the date format you prefer to see. Whether you prefer to view time in either 12 or 24 hour. And by default, the NVR is set to automatically pick up the correct time from the Windows Time Server. So as long as you're connected to the internet, you can leave that checked and leave the default server and go ahead and press next. Assuming you have a hard drive installed, you want to select the hard drive and then click on format local disk. It'll only take a few seconds. We're going to skip that step here because we have used this NVR before and we have some recordings on it. This is just for demo. And then go ahead and press next. The setup wizard will automatically present you with any cameras that it can find on the local network. And this video assumes that you've already set up your camera, so just select the camera you wanted to add. Click Add. And choose the channel. In this case, channel 1. It's the first camera. The IP address is already populated. The username admin is already defaulted. If you need to change that, you can. And go ahead and put in the password that you set up for your camera. This is the camera password. If your camera is a FOSCAM, branded camera, you can just leave the style as FOSCAM, otherwise if you're using an ONVIF camera you'll want to change that to ONVIF and you'll see the ports are already preset. When you're done with that, if you want to add your second camera, go ahead and click the second camera in your list, click Add, and we'll walk through the same step. You'll see that the channel number is automatically defaulted to channel 2, so you can leave that alone. The IP address is set. The username is already there, you just need to go again and put in the password that is for your second camera. And if the rest of the settings are correct, go ahead and click on OK. Once that's all done, just click one more time and you'll get to the default camera screen and if all is well, you should see your cameras appear one at a time. And it's as simple as that for first time setup to get your FOSCAM NVR set up with FOSCAM cameras. All right, let's have a look at what the menu looks like on the FOSCAM NVR. This is a menu that you'll see if you're using it with a local display connected either by VGA or HDMI. And we're just quickly going through some of the menu options just to have a look at what's available. We have IPC manager, that's your camera manager. We have playback, backup, about, settings, and we have system. We'll go through some of these in a little bit more detail. We'll start with settings. Under settings, again, we have a number of options. One of those is general. Under the general tab, we can set up the name of the NVR in case you have more than one, give it a recognizable name. We can set the local time zone. Again, by default, it will automatically be set to pick up time on the uh, internet if you have it connected to a, an internet connection. And you can set the date and the time style, language, and what the hard drive will do when it is full. It's very important. By default, it will automatically get rid of the oldest video to make room for the new. If you like, you can change that to just halt recording. Again, let's look under settings. We also have an option for display. Under display, we can choose whether we want to have one 1080p or four cameras displayed at one time. And we can choose the resolution of the monitor. You may want to change that to adjust it to your monitor's maximum resolution so you get the best possible picture. Now let's go back and have a look at the IPC manager. We saw this one time before when we went through the quick setup guide. But if you need to go in and either edit your cameras or add additional cameras, this is where you'll do it. Again, you'll pick the camera you wish to add. Go ahead and choose the channel. Put in the username and the password that is 
have been set up on your camera. Choose the protocol. In this case, if you're using FOSCAM cameras, it will remain as FOSCAM. And once you have that all done, you want to click Save. Also under Settings, we can set up schedules. Schedules would be to tell the NVR what time and what days to record cameras. For each camera in each channel, you can tell it to record either 24-7 or only at certain times of the day or certain days of the week and any combination of the above. Also, if we don't want to record strictly on time, we can also record based on motion detection so that when the camera sees motion, which basically for a camera sees a number of pixels on the screen moving, then it will start to record. We need to make sure we go in and set up the area that the camera will look at for motion. In this case you can either have an entire screen or you could choose possibly just a doorway or an entranceway so that only when motion is sensed there do we start recording. And we also want to make sure we set up the detection schedule. This is when the motion detection settings will be active. We can also choose some other options such as how long a clip will be recorded when motion is sensed, as well as what we want to do about it. We can start recording on motion, we can have a buzzer sound, we can send an email, and we can even FTP images up to uh, an FTP server. So that takes us through the basic setup, how to get the NVR set up with the quick set guide, how to add cameras, and how to set up scheduled recording, as well as motion sensed recording. That concludes our video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit us at www.artech.ca and have a great day.